Um, I was going to do law at first, and I was going to go to Seabook, and I went to sign on to a, to a course. And I got there, and I was like, I don't want to do this. So I walked out again. And um, I came here like the day after and signed up to do a graphics course. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, like, I think, so like, especially like Tammy, um, I was sort of lucky to, to, to sort of work with her. Canna was back in the days of uh, London Road, I do believe. Um, but yeah, I do. Canna came to us as quite a, a complex uh, individual. I'd say very deep-rooted emotions. Wasn't quite sure whether graphics was going to be his career because um, I think his parents wanted him to go on to do sort of medicine. Um, we had long debates about where he could go career-wise. I remember lots of tutorials. I can remember lots of playing with different mixed media, doing the graphic design. I remember the photography with him. And we kind of, over the years, because we knew that there was a me always a message in his work, I think it was about trying to get that, what he wanted inside to, to come out, you know, in a form of expression in some way. The day we gave him a camera, I think that was it, really. And talking traditional photography with digital. And I have to say, I was very honoured and very flattered when he came back recently um, to do a talk. And my, he'd grown. Um, and it was so nice to see where he, what he's become and what he does. I was sort of lucky to, to, to sort of work with her. And uh, she was like the best tutor ever. So if you were to take her out of my timeline, I don't think I'd be doing what I'm doing. Um, after college, I went to, uh, I've got a place at Central St. Martins. And again, that was because of Tammy. Like, I was going to go to, um, to Bass Bar. So, like, I, I'd sort of been there and, like, I sort of, like, made up my mind. And then one day we were sort of, like, uh, sitting and I was going over uh, my portfolio. And she said, uh, you should put down uh, Central. And I was like, I'm not going to get in there. She said, no, I'll do it. And, um, yeah, and then I got in. And I was like completely surprised. So I went there, um, studied graphics, but in my second year, I sort of focused more on uh, photography. And I worked with uh, a few bands. And in my second year, I shot my first ever CD cover. And it just sort of rolled on from there. Yeah, so I was like 19 when I shot my first CD cover. Yeah. Um, my main stuff is, well, people know me for music, but they, but I'm starting to kind of um, get known for um, my portrait stuff as well now. And I do um, some uh, commercial work as well. Just did a campaign for Ragged Priest. Um, done like some stuff for uh, Merck, Fred Perry. Um, who else? I've forgotten this so many. Um, but like I'm known for my band stuff as well. So like that's 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 really what what people will sort of like first see if they search for me. With bands, I tend to do uh, their press shots and shoot uh, the music videos, and yeah, just ev yeah, pretty much everything visual based. You've got to kind of just consistently put out work, even if it's just like your own work. If you just can like consistently pound it, and it's, it, it just tends to sort of happen. But I got quite lucky because all my friends were so sort of like so sort I of like doing sort of like band stuff. So I sort of like fell into it with them, and like went on tours, and then through that I met other people, and. Then College is somewhere where like you can kind of take your time and like sort of like work on your craft without any pressure. I mean like yeah, I mean not not that kind of pressure. And it's also sort of like a good time to fail and like yeah, without it being like this sort of like end of the world. 
and that's kind of cool. And you also meet a lot of people. Like I've met so many people here that that I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing if I didn't meet them. Yeah, and I think that's sort of like important. And it's just time. It's time to kind of like figure out what you want to do. So because I started off doing uh, graphics, if I would have like stopped after college, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I'd be doing something else. I mean, like it, it still might have worked, but I'm. But I feel like this is what I was supposed to be doing. And, and I found my, my voice through learning yeah. and just being around people. Yeah, because you can spend a lot of time on your own. Good question. Oh, I don't know. Um, probably my last one. <laughs> but, but then that will probably change like next week. Um, yeah, just shot the new album cover for uh, Asylums, and at first it was just going to be like one picture of a cover, but it ended up being four. So I'm really pleased with that. I think that we found our like strides because we've been sort of like working together for years, and we've sort of like found that now. Yeah, probably that, but that'll probably change next week. Uh, we're in the railway pub. Um, um, I photographed. God, so many bands here. Uh, 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 Asylum suspects, Petty Phase, uh, Bait, almost all of the cool thing bands, which is a label that I run with my friends. Um, I did have a good answer for this. Um, um, it's the look of when you give someone something that they didn't know that they could look like that. And also like when you sort of give them what, what they want, but there's that next bit was solely you. And um, like just figuring out stuff. Because like sometimes we've like tried, tried things and they've not worked. And then you kind of go through that sort of like breaking down thing which is again like something that I sort of learned at, uh, at, at Seek so like uh, with Tammy and with Rosie like so like they would sort of like go through ways to it's like there's your brief and you break it down into sort of like sections and things that I learned there I use in every job that I do it's like sort of like breaking down the purpose into little sections I think that um, with photography, because I've done uh, uh, graphics, I can kind of, I know what things need to be like. <laughs> I, I was like the black sheep of the family, so I started doing like a, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, not at first, but they were always like, like I, when I said that, um, I was gonna do uh, graphics, and my mum was like, "Oh, like you can work for like a newspaper doing uh, the layouts." And like when I saw sort of me, I was like, uh, for, um, "To yeah, to like." Then 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 they were like, "You can set up a shop on South and Street and like take shots of babies." I was like, "It's not what I'm gonna do, but hold that thought." <laughs> so yeah, I think that they viewed it a bit more in a sense of being practical. And I, and I always viewed it as art, which I didn't get until my work was everywhere. And now they're kind of okay with it. But. Um, there's a lot of different ways. Um, um, I still do things um, like um, sort of a direct mail, where like I'll sort of like send out um, so sort of like small books and sort of like uh, cards just out uh, to various people and um, I know a guy that uh, went over to New York and like he kind of wanted uh, to meet up uh, with some firm so like he got his work uh, printed on a pizza box and sent them pizzas every day and I thought that's kind of cool but that but, yeah, but again I think that when you sort of like deal with ideas and not the cost then like then you you can find a way to kind of like 
to sort of like stand out. Just, just, just showing the people your, your work. But you got to look at the best stuff and like go okay. So like, if you want to show you a, a, a fashion, like there's not much point in like sort of like you finding someone around you that shoots it. So like, kind of okay, like go right to the top. And I think that that's kind of what I've always done. So like, I looked at like the best best people and it makes you feel like crap because you're like I'm nowhere near that but like if you aim for that and you know where the line is you it's like you're never going to like send out something that A is below that but then you kind of also need to sort of like find like your voice in that as well